So five of the first 43 picks belong to Steve Eiserman and the Detroit Red Wings. Now, DMAC, you're more well-versed. I'm not sitting here saying you break down film or that's Draper's department. Uh, I would ask Draper these, these questions. How about philosophically, though, DMAC? Uh, the Tankathon mock draft, you know, Tankathon, somebody I, I enjoy their work, their mock draft, just to give you a, a, a flavor of it. At nine, they have the Red Wings taking Oliver Moore, the center from the developmental program uh, right here in Michigan. He's committed to Minnesota as it sits. Uh, he was born in, in 2005, so what that puts him at. <laughs> puts him at 18 right now. And then flip it on the other side. 2005. Yep. Uh, they also have the Red Wings taking another center from Canada, Nate Danielson. And I'm not... I'm not one of these guys like in this town where I'm gonna I'm gonna read a couple of mocks and speak like I'm educated on it, because I'm not. So I'll, philosophically, D-Mac, where did he play? OHL. Uh, Brandon. Yeah, OHL. Yep. Well, first things first is uh, Oliver Moore, and anybody in the backyard development camp. I guarantee, Drapes has seen him play a hundred times, hundred thousand times. Yeah. Right. A million times. Knows exactly it. The fact that you got to look. See, and, and here's the thing where I just look. And you're talking about centers. And Chris Draper, and I'm speaking on behalf of the center of the grind line and also, you know, one of my best friends in life. And uh, just when you know somebody, right? It's the same thing as if I was I was looking at a right winger. There's certain, that's your position. That's the, the thing that you take pride in. If he's going to drop the center too, I'm sure he's a little bit harder on him. You know, like judging him or, or watching him because he has expectations. I know the game's changed, and that's what I think makes uh, Chris Draper, Steve Eisenman, Kirk Maltby, you know, Yuri Fisher, Dan Cleary, all the guys in the front office so good is, is the way that they watch the game. And they've evolved and been around as it's evolved. Now, we can, when we talk, we talk about, you know, this game and how you view it and how you watch guys or what you're looking for differently than how when I was drafted and stuff like this. So, yeah, anytime, you know, anything, it almost, does this make sense to you? When I see a center drafted, it's like, wow, well, it's almost like, oh, wow. Like, he has to be, have that little extra something because his drapes would just pass them. Does that make sense? No, it it, ab- it absolutely makes sense. Uh, a couple of questions here on the WoodwardSports.com chat thread. And, and just to comment that, in the same way, that Yuri Fisher fire that he played with and he still has because his <clears throat> career was cut short, he notices that in guys too. He, he, he He's the best to talk. Yuri Fisher I have more fun talking about guys with because he's either like... He's garbage, or he's got potential, or what? Like he's so cut and dry, and and but you know where where to stand. So he can see that extra cut. You're talking about that culture. They're, they're, these guys automatically we look for it. We look for it in human beings. Do you have that sort of it that we've been around?